Jana, and today we are throwing it back to the 90s. I want to talk about my favorite Boy Meets World episodes. So this is the show that happened before Girl Meets World and inspired Girl Meets World and characters from it are on Girl Meets World. Boy Meets World birthed Girl Meets World. Sorry for that visual. I put together a list of my top 12 10, but you know, don't have 12 fingers. Favorite Boy Meets World episodes, and they're kind of random. They're not exactly the most popular ones, but I really like them, so here's my list. At number 12, I have The Honeymooners, which is a season seven episode. I love this episode. I think it is so funny when Corey starts carving coconuts to look like famous people. <laughs> that is such a Corey thing to do, and I think it's hilarious. Up next, we have another season seven episode, and it's I'm going to be like you, Dad. I actually like this episode for the B plot, so not the main plot of the episode, but the B plot. Corey takes a quiz in a magazine, and it basically says that he should have died already, and so he becomes a hypochondriac and thinks like everything is wrong with him. And I, sadly, really relate to that. So I just love that episode, and I love that they showed it in sort of a comical way, but still like a very real way. Like people deal with that, and so I don't know. I really like that episode. Coming in at number ten is a season four episode called Cult Fiction. This was a heavy episode. A couple of my favorite moments actually came from this episode. Um, when Alan sort of sticks up for Sean and says that he's family and he loves him and all of that. And then when Sean and Corey are having their conversation and Corey's like, this is what a hug is. And then Turner and it's just like, it's good. At number nine, we have another heavy season four episode and it's Dangerous Secret. Basically a girl sleeps over Sean's house and Corey gets like the wrong idea about this and she's there for like a very serious reason and it's just like, it made me really love Sean. At number eight, we have a season three episode that I bet all of you were expecting on my list. It is the happiest show on earth. This is the episode where the Boy Meets World gang went to Disney World. Need I say more? <laughs> Number seven, we have Boy Meets Girl, which is season one. I love this episode. I love that Cory and Topanga kind of, they're just, they're so cute. Even though Cory basically only asked her out to keep up with Sean because he felt like Sean was going on dates and he had to like keep up with his best friend and then they do the <laughs> thing and it's so cute. Similar to that, I have a season one episode at number six, which is Cory's Alternative Friends. First of all, I think it's hilarious that Cory did that perm thing to his hair and it was like, zing, zing, zing. It was like Jimmy Neutron if Jimmy Neutron just teased his hair. <laughs> and it's super cute when Topanga and Corey have their first kiss against the lockers. Number five is a season three episode called Hometown Hero. Corey gets praised and he becomes a hero for a fire that he saved but also started. So he stopped the fire but he started the fire. So is he really a hero? Watch the episode and find out. Number four is a season two episode called Fear Strikes Out. In this episode, Corey and Topanga play the seven minutes in heaven game, I think that's what it's called. And nothing really happens in the closet and Corey's very worried about this and it's all just, it's a really funny episode. For number three, we are taking it back to season seven. I have a lot of favorites from that season and this one is The War. This is a two-parter episode and it's just, it's, it's funny, it's sad, it's all of the above. I really like Eric in this episode as a peacemaker and I feel so sorry for him when everyone like sort of makes him feel bad. I just, Eric. <laughs> Number two is from season one and it's Santa's Little Helper. So this is a Christmas episode and I think it is so funny because Morgan, little Morgan, precious little sweet Morgan, thinks that she caused Santa's heart attack. It's just, it's so funny and it's one of my favorite episodes to watch year round, but especially at Christmas. And I think the ending is super cute and super funny and clever. And Morgan is just so precious and so just, she's so clever and cute. And my number one favorite episode is from season seven, like most of these are, and it's What a Drag. I can't get enough of this episode. I have it on my DVR. It stays there. It will never leave. Basically this episode focuses on Eric and Jack and it's just, it's amazing. I, Will Friedel, <laughs> that's me bowing down to Will because he is a comedic genius and that really comes through in this episode when he plays Chantel Dubois. Um, and if that name sounds funny, watch the episode and you'll see why. It's just, it's my favorite and it always will be. So those are my top 12 Moy Meets World episodes. I wanna know what your favorites are um, and if any of them were on this list. If you've never seen Boy Meets World, there are reruns. I believe right now they're on Nick at Night, but I've seen them on MTV and ABC Family, which is now Freeform, which is so weird to me. Why did they change that? But it's an excellent show and it touches so many subjects that teenagers deal with and preteens deal with and it's just, 
It's so good. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and stay beautiful, you people. <laughs> Bye. Wow, I really like season seven. How many season sevens are there? One, two, three, four. Oh, there's only four. I felt like there were so many more, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. Season seven was a good time. What was your favorite season? Put it in the comments below. Let's see how many people say season seven because season seven is clearly my favorite even though there's only four of them. And I have a lot of season ones, two, I think, wait, <sighs> math.